What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Malika and I'm so happy you're here watching with me. Um, I started this new YouTube channel to hear more about like moving abroad, expat life, traveling and all that amazing stuff. And right now we have a wedding about a specific trip I have coming up to France. Um, I am so excited because my destination wedding is finally here. We're getting married in saint julien it's southwest of Paris, very close to Bordeaux area in just two weeks. And I have been waiting for this wedding, guys, since 2019. Like, can you even imagine? We started planning our wedding in 2019 before COVID was even a thought. And we planned this amazing dream destination wedding that has been postponed twice. And now it is finally here. Um, I am still feeling like super, super anxious and like really, really nervous about COVID and Delta and just travel and like all this stuff happening. But I just decided to kind of go with the flow, keep an open mind and start getting into that super happy bride mode, <laughs> um, which it just feels so good to be doing this right now. You have no idea. Um, one of the things that we did not do, like we literally planned our entire wedding before COVID even happened, like everything was locked and loaded, but then COVID happened, we postponed, we postponed, and I actually never shopped for my like wedding week attire. So you guys know all the things that you wear before the wedding, after the wedding, getting ready for all your little brunches or like, you know, hanging out with friends during the week. Um, like I have the dress obviously and I have a rehearsal dinner dress, but I didn't have like the wedding vacation week clothes. So right now I'm gonna start doing a little try on haul and show you guys some of the stuff that I bought for my wedding week in France. So we have kind of like a pretty loose itinerary, like we land, we're gonna hang out in Paris a couple of days, head south to where the wedding is in saint julien do some wine tours and tastings the day after the wedding. I might go to Cognac and do like a little whiskey tour. And then we're going back to Paris for another couple of days. So I have to have like outfits for basically like 10 days of amazing wedding activities. And of course have to look fly. Um, originally it was supposed to be a summer wedding. Now it's kind of like an early fall wedding transitional thinking. So I have some stuff that's a little bit summery and then some stuff that's a little bit more transitional like easing into fall. So we'll just play around and see what happens and see what makes the final cut. Um, and I will say that after like almost two years of planning and just like getting to a point of being like almost over it and wanting to call the whole thing off, I didn't want to go like super duper bridal with my wardrobe, especially because I didn't want to spend a ton of money on things I would only wear once. So I wanted clothes that would have some longevity that I could kind of wear in multiple scenarios, multiple different occasions. So you won't see a lot of super bridal looks right now. I'm not gonna be the person that wears white the entire week. Um, I just feel like it wouldn't be like sustainable long-term. I wanted things that would fit into future trips and like just make sense for being in France in September versus like, you know, what we originally planned to be like an early June wedding. So let's see what we got. So I'm starting with the stuff that I got from Revolve. I shopped at a couple of different retailers. So first Revolve, this is this cute little romper um, in blue. It's from Super Down, yep, yeah, Super Down. Blue is not like my favorite color, but you know, it's just one of those like wedding colors. Like, oh yeah, like something blue, like the brightest was blue. So I got it. I think it's very, very cute. It's very flattering. This little ruffle detail on the bottom is so sweet. And I really like the back. Um, like it just has like a really nice like tie detail. So it's just very, very pretty. I think that it's a little bit summery um, for where I'm going. And like, yeah, I could style with a blazer or a leather jacket, but it's feeling like a little bit too summery. So I may or may not keep this or pack this for the wedding, but I might keep it for like future trips. Next up is this like linen sundress, which I absolutely love. It's this really nice cream linen. Uh, and I saw, I like, I loved it in the picture. I loved it on the model, but I was just like, when I tried it on, it's just kind of like giving paper bag. Like I just wasn't really happy with it. Um, but you know, like a linen shirt dress is a classic. Like it's just one of those things you can always get a lot of wear out of. So this is Revolve. It's from their Bobby Black collection. Um, I don't know, like it came with this belt, which I felt like the belt was rather boring. I liked it a lot better when I tried it in with one of my other belts, like just like a normal like brown leather belt. I thought it looked a lot better. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm on the fence about this one. I think it's a really great practical item. I'm just like not obsessed with how it looks on me. So this is again going in the maybe pile. I just, I don't know yet guys, we'll see. And here is another piece from Revolve. This is the super cute romper. I guess I bought a couple of rompers. I don't really know what I was thinking. <laughs> um, I like that it was white. I like the lemon print. Um, I just love the idea of it. The fit is just like a little bit less flattering. Like I think this is a size small. Um, 
This is from the One State Collection. Yeah, it's a size small, but it's just fitting a little bit like baggy for my taste. So I think that I'm probably gonna have to return this or I might exchange it and get it in an extra small and just save it for another vacation. Um, Cause by the time I exchange it, it wouldn't come like in time for the wedding. But I think it's pretty cute. It's just, you know, a little bit too big and a little bit too summer. And then this is a romper that I was like absolutely obsessed with. Like when I saw this pattern, I was like absolutely have to have it, it is giving. Um, I think it's a little bit small on the body, like I would have liked it to have a blousier fit, but it's just like nice and sexy, it's fun. I got it thinking it'd be like a nice little romper or like pool beach cover up. Um, I just think it's amazing, this print is gorgeous. I love the little like kind of tap short, like it's super flirty. Um, if I were to wear this anywhere but the beach, you would have to get some fashion tape in here to cover the girls up. But if you're wearing a bikini on top or like underneath it, it probably won't be that bad. Um, so I totally love this. I think I really want to keep this. Again, not so sure for the wedding because it is September in like France and this is very much giving tropical vacation. So it might not make the cut for the wedding week, but I will definitely be wearing this for vacation for a honeymoon later. Um, we're probably gonna go to Zanzibar in September. So I think that is where this baby will come into play. Okay, so that was everything I got from Revolve and now I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff that I got from Nordstrom. Uh, so this little dress is super cute. <laughs> I just saw it and I was like, oh, it's so romantic. And it's also pretty kind of seasonless. Like it can go spring, summer, fall, I think. So I think it's really pretty. Um, this is from the, let's see what designer this is. Oh, I don't know. Um, sorry. Waif. This is Waif. Um, it is a cute little, like very subtle pink floral, nice little elastic detail on the back. I also have these little puff sleeves. It's giving a little bit like Bridgerton vibes, you know, that just like kind of soft, romantic, old school ever. Love the little soft blush pink, so this is definitely a keeper, um, and it's a pretty good price, so pretty happy with this. I also like that you can wear the sleeves like on like this, and then also drop them off the shoulder, so I think that'll be really cute. But if I went off the shoulder, I'd probably put some fashion tape in there just because like it felt like it could just come falling off at any given moment. So um, this is another dress that I got from Nordstrom. And again, I said I was not going super bright. I worked in some color, guys. I worked in just colors that I love and like will look good, especially I'd be popping in the season. So this is another really cute dress from Bardot. It's a linen blend. It feels really light and comfortable, but it just has like, I don't know, it's just like a powerful color. I love red. I love these little buttons. I love like the kind of subtle cleavage hint and the puff sleeves. It's just like, Super, super cute, um, really good quality material as well. So this is definitely a keeper. I will be wearing the hell out of this baby. And then I got this um, little black slip dress, which that's just a classic item. Every woman needs a black slip dress in her wardrobe. And I was like, why don't I have one? So I like that it's a tasteful midi length. I like that it's just, you know, it's giving like subtle elegance. This one in particular feels a little bit too much like a nightgown and not enough like a dress, unfortunately. So. I love the way it looks on the model on the page, but it's just not looking like that on me. Like it feels like it could straight up be my pajamas. So I probably will unfortunately return this one just because it's not fitting or looking the way I want it to fit. Um, I don't remember the price. I think it was around $100, but it's definitely not feeling like $100 of fabric. Um, it feels a little flimsy. It feels like a cheap polyester. So it's just not like, for the price and how it looks and what I wanted versus how it looked on the model, I'm not super in love with this one. Um, but I will probably keep searching for another black slip dress because I do think that you just need to have one of those in your closet. Um, I also did get this little black nightgown and this actually is a nightgown and it feels so much softer and more elegant than that dress. And this is a nightgown, it was $48. So I think the dress was 100. This one's $48, it's from Flora and Cruz. And it's just like, it just feels like a world of difference. Like it's heavy, like it has a nice weight to the material and it's like thick, it's like soft. Oh, I just love it. Like I think this is really great, really classic. Um, if they made this in like a different cut or longer length, I would just buy it and wear it as a dress. Um, I also think this little back detail is very pretty and romantic. Like, just that little kind of tea back with the lace. I don't know, I'm a big fan. Um, and so we are staying in like a big chateau for the wedding with like our parents and then a couple of like the, the bridal party and like friends. So there's gonna be a lot of people in the house. So I wanted like nice pajamas and loungewear. Um, so I got that little nightgown and this is a robe from the same designer, but it's sold separately. Again, same beautiful fabric, nice and chic. You always need like a nice black silk robe. Like it's just like a really pretty classic item to have. Also $48, um, super happy with it. The quality for the price is just 
outstanding. So this is one of those things that I'll be kind of coming down after the wedding and sipping my coffee on the terrace and just like lounging in the in the post bridal glow in this little baby. Uh, so let me just explain really quickly too because I know I'm living in Beirut obviously right now. So you guys are probably wondering how I'm getting this stuff from these retailers since they do not ship internationally most of them and definitely do not ship to Beirut. So basically I just I I only shop at retailers that have flexible return policies so like at least a 60 to 90 day window because I send everything to a friend or to a domestic address in the US and then they send it to me later like by a private courier or like DHL or FedEx or something that does ship internationally. So it usually takes me like two to three weeks to get stuff and then if I want to return anything that doesn't fit, it's another two to three weeks. So if they have only like a 30 day return window, that's just not going to work for me. It's just too risky. So I pick retailers that have those flexible policies just so I can still like shop at my favorite stores and have those options, but not have to like worry about being stuck with stuff if it doesn't fit or isn't like good quality. So next up is everything I got from Amazon, which their return window is like a little bit tight, but luckily I really like most of it, so I'm not really worried about keeping it. And I think in most cases you can still return outside of 30 days and get like a Amazon credit or something. It just depends on the seller. But anyway, so first up is this little, another one of these little Bridgerton picnic bitch nap dresses, cause I'm just loving that vibe and she is giving. It is so pretty, it is so romantic. I love this little subtle pattern, like the white with the little blue florals. It's just so perfect for like a bride, right? Or just like summer picnic, transitioning. I think it's just gonna look so gorgeous just hanging out in Paris in the streets with this. I love this detailing. Um, I also love that just like the other pink dress, you can kind of go on the shoulder or off the shoulder. And this one actually feels like it'll hold a little bit better if you tie it up tightly. The only thing I don't love is the length. It is very long. Um, on the website, it looked like a midi dress, but also on the website, the pictures were like butt ugly. Like they were so bad. I was like, I'm taking a risk buying this dress, but it was so cheap that I was like, all right, whatever. Like we'll just try it because those pictures were awful and it is so cute. Um, but yeah, so it just goes all the way to the floor, but I thought it would stop like at a midi length. So I do have to have this tailored because I'm going to keep this. I have to have it tailored. So we'll probably just take it up to like, a, you know, mini like mid calf level and then seal up the split so that I don't have my entire thigh meat out. Um, but yeah, it's perfect. And for reference, I'm 5'2", so I am, you know, on the shorter side. So maybe it was mini on the model, but not on me. Um, and then we have another one of the, again, Bridgerton vibe dresses. You can see the trend here. <laughs> this is just giving like Daphne before her wedding, just like promenading with the Duke. Oh my God, isn't it just gorgeous? This was like another really great Amazon find and I just love it. It's so romantic, it's so dreamy. It also comes in probably like 10 different colors. So I probably will be getting another one of these. Um, again, same problem with the length. I'm 5'2", this is going down to the floor and it's looking a little like nightgowny. but I think once I hem it to like just below the knee, it'll kind of give more of that romantic, um, approachable picnic vibe that I'm really into and look a lot more modern. But yeah, this is just an amazing Amazon find. And so again, same on the note of like staying in the chateau with all our friends and family. I got some more cute PJs from Amazon. I was also debating what I wanted to wear for like getting ready as a bride, you know, cause I just wasn't sure what I wanted to do for getting ready photos. So I got this little cute two piece sleep set. So it comes with this like satin t-shirt and then these little like tap shorts. Um, the review is set to size up, so I think I got the white one in a medium, um, and I think it's really cute. It looks really modern, it looks really fresh. I think it's like much cooler than just like hanging out in a robe all day, like it's a lot more comfortable, especially if I need to like step outside the bridal suite and like check on setup or like see what the vendors are doing, like make sure everything's happening. It still is like appropriate to go like run outside and yell at someone if I had to. Uh, but yeah, I'm really feeling this. I think it's really cute. Um, again, this comes in a ton of colors. I got it in white, which I really like the white one. And I also got it in champagne in case I was like, oh, white's too bright, I don't know. Um, I don't like the champagne. It's way too yellow, like as you can see. And also I got the champagne in a size small just to kind of try out different sizes. So the white is a medium. The shorts fit so much better in the medium. Like the t-shirt fits pretty much the same, but I'm hippier, I have a bigger butt. So like I liked having more room on the bottom. The shorts in a small were just like a little bit tight and not as comfortable. Um, but yeah, so don't love the color and it also doesn't fit right. So not gonna keep this one, but I will be keeping the white one. 
So a few more things I got from Amazon and the kind of sleep lounge edition. So here's a three piece set that is like basically like a Skims dupe. It looks a lot like this outfit I saw at Kim Kardashian. We are promoting the Skims lounge collection. So there's this little cute fuzzy wuzzy tank top. Um, comes with these pants over here. Super cute. Again, like fuzzy wuzzy kins, really cozy, like nice. I would wear these again as an alternative for if it's chillier that day. Um, it is like a chateau, it's big, a stone house, it gets cold, it does in September. So these would be my kind of like, ooh, it's chilly, I wanna be cozy after the wedding lounge. And it also comes with this little cute robe that you can just throw on. Um, really great texture, it feels really nice. Like it's not feeling like super luxurious or anything, like it's pretty cheap, but it looks cute and it'll basically like do the job. You know, like it's flattering, it's cute, it's cozy. It'll be warm for kind of like September, October, like not like it's really cold and you're freezing. So um, I think that's like a really great find. And then I also got this pajama set that's basically like, it's pretty intense because it's like a seven piece set. Um, again, comes in a ton of colors, it's really cool. I got this kind of like royal fuchsia because again, it's just giving me like queeny vibes. Like after my wedding, I'm not coming down on white. The white on the website in this actually looked rather cheap. So I was just like, I want to stay away from the pastels and get more of the jewel tones because the whites and the pale pink just look really cheap. But the like emerald green, the fuchsia looked really nice. So this is a fuchsia, so it comes with this button down pajama top. Uh, it also comes with this like little matching camisole. This is like a seven piece set and I think it was like maybe $40, $50. So you have two shirts, um, then you have two bottoms. So here's the little shorts. Um, all things, you just kind of like mix and match them. It's really great for travel too because it all came with this little like matching satin bag. So you can kind of fold everything in the bag. Um, and here's the pants. Really cute, and then it also came with, so there's the bag for like packing them all into a little satin pouch, which you can also use for your like laundry or unmentionables, and it had a matching scrunchie and a matching eye mask. So, really cute find, came with a ton of colors. I'm really happy with this, it's super versatile, really lightweight, so definitely loving this little sleep loungewear option. And now it's time to talk about shoes, because of course I have to get some shoes, guys, you know that. I just saved them all for the end. So, these are from Dolce Vita. I got them from Nordstrom. Um, it's this really pretty like braided sandal. I like this detailing. I think they're really cute, very chic. Um, they kind of just like are the shoe that would go with everything. It's a practical heel. I stopped wearing like stilettos since I moved to Beirut. It's just like not super practical. So unless it's a special occasion, I'm not gonna be buying any new like super spiky, super tall heels. So I like that this is just like a kind of like practical um, block heel sandal. I think I'll get a lot of use out of it. Like. The wedding week and also just, you know, in general, it's just like a good shoe to have. And then these are from Nine West. I got these from Zappos. I love Zappos and that, you know, 365 day a year return policy. So your girl just will be relying on them a lot. So these I got because I was thinking that I needed a shoe for my rehearsal dinner. The shoes I originally planned to wear, I ended up sending with our shipment of stuff that we moved to Beirut and that hasn't shown up yet. So. Whenever those show up, I will have some really amazing blue Manolo Blahniks, um, the ones that I actually wore for our original elopement that we did in California in like 20, in April 2020, like right when COVID first happened, we had like a little private ceremony. Um, so I wore these most amazing blue Manolos. I was gonna wear them again for the rehearsal dinner with my like kind of cream cocktail dress, but they're not here, they're on a boat somewhere on the way to Beirut, so I had to get a replacement. Um, so these are from Nine West. It's like a nice little crystal sandal. I don't like this heel and I guess I didn't realize it on the internet that it had this kind of like loose sight like heel that's giving me a little bit stripper. Um, they're also just very, very delicate and I'm starting to shy away from like delicate shoes. Like I don't know, I just don't feel like they're very versatile. Like I feel like they'd be great for like their rehearsal dinner cocktail but then like that's about it and I might never wear them again. So these might end up going in the return pile. Um, I'm gonna try everything on together and decide then, but I think my instincts are telling me it's gonna be a no. Um, and then I also got these from Zappos, which this packaging is like, I was like, what happened with this? But I don't know if you can see like in the label, it says this packaging was like repurposed because the original box was damaged. So that was a little bit weird, but the shoes are amazing. So these are Jewel by Bakshli Mishka. Um, I think they're beautiful. It's like a nice, gorgeous, like gold pump, semi low heel. It's very, very sturdy. That other heel felt a little flimsy. Sturdy heel, 
really nice design. I think it'll go with the dress nicely. I would also just release with like jeans. You know, like it's just like a much more versatile shoe than like that sandal. Um, it's a little more seasonless, like they're not like a clear summer shoe. So I think these will be the winner. Um, obviously I wanna do like a wear test to make sure I can stand on them for a couple of hours before I decide for sure. But I do really love the design. Like I love this little subtle scalloping. I love like the texture. So I'm really happy with this find. Um, also from Zappos, I got these. These are from Fit Flop, which I don't know if you guys have ever worn Fit Flops, but they are incredibly comfortable. Their shoe design is just, they're ergonomic, they're cushy and squishy, so I'm used to Fit Flops being like amazingly comfortable. Um, I've never worn actual Fit Flop Fit Flops. I've worn Fit Flop like mules and like loafers. This is my first pair of Fit Flop Fit Fit flop flip flops. Um, I like the ergonomic design. And you can guys see that like shape. It's designed to kind of mimic the curves of your foot. They feel a little bit harder than I thought they would. Like they just don't feel very soft, like the way their other shoes feel soft. But this is definitely more support than like a normal flip flop. Like than a normal flip flop. <laughs> um, a lot more supportive, just a lot more stability. I was, I got these because I was thinking I might like change or like need something comfortable to change into after I kick off my heels. And this is just like a nice little white flip flop to have on hand. Like no one would really see it, but it just seems like something super comfortable. Or again, if I need to like slip on some footwear to run outside to yell at a vendor during setup, this is what I would throw on. Um, and these are Adidas. I got them from, I think I got these from Nordstrom with the Nordstrom stuff. It's the Adidas Superstar, just a classic. I've worn like a ton of these. Like I've had these several times. I wear them until they get filthy and worn out. Then I buy another pair. So this is probably my third pair of Superstars that I own. They're just comfy, they're classic, they go with everything. Um, so this is gonna probably be like my travel shoe, my like running around Paris shoe. I thought it would look really cute with that black slip dress, but the slip dress is going away, so. But they just kind of go with everything anyway, so it's fine. And then last pair of shoes that I got, these are from Amazon. There's like a cute little house slipper, super cozy. I like the little furry detail, I like the kind of velvet. Just like very soft and romantic, really pretty for like hanging out in the house. They have also a nice um, like rubber sole with some grip on it so you won't really be like slippery. Um, there's a lot of stairs in the chateau, like curvy stairs. So that's nice to not like, you know, be like afraid of it. Like it just has like a nice rubber sole that feels safe. So, and so that was it. So I didn't buy any new accessories, but this company did send me this bag. Um, it's from, Mo let me make sure I say their name right. Mona Zenny, it's a black on brand, so I was like happy to support them. I think the bag's super, super cute. I love the baby blue color. It's giving me, again, that little bridal vibe. It's just a really nice purse, nice quality. It's like a little bit roomy, spacious, um, but it also works really nicely as a crossbody. The strap is removable, so you can either do it as a crossbody or shoulder, or also just like hold it like that, super cutesy. So this might be like a good kind of like running around the city bag or like when we go on our little wine tasting trip, but I'm definitely gonna bring it with me because I just like love the little pop of color and the kind of soft romantic vibe. It matches my other little Bridgerton dress, so you know, I'm a fan. So that's it, thank you so much for watching. Hope you like these items. I'm gonna leave links for everything in the description box. Hopefully they're all still like live and available for purchase by the time I post this video. Cause again, I started ordering a little bit early just because of how long it takes me to get stuff living here in Beirut. Um, but let me know what pieces you liked, what you love. If you have any tips about packing, cause my packing is gonna get a little bit weird. Um, the airline I'm flying has like weird weight, size, dimension requirements. And I'm also flying with my wedding dress. That's gonna be a little bit interesting, but Stay tuned for that because my next video will be the kind of pack with me um, for the wedding week and you can see everything that made the cut and then how I plan to style it with other things I already own. So that'll be coming up next. Um, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Catch you in the next video.